renewed talk recently about getting Pete Rose into the Hall of Fame, but maybe another hurdle to climb. Oh, this will be a big one, I think. Former Philly Pete Rose had always maintained that he never gambled on baseball while he was still playing. Well, today ESPN says they have uncovered a notebook that proves Rose bet on the Reds during his last year as a player in 1986. It's the first written record that he bet on baseball while he was still on the field. Previously, he had only admitted to gambling while managing the team. Rose agreed to a lifetime ban from baseball back in 1989 and because of that remains ineligible for baseball's Hall of Fame. The Phillies face the Yankees up in the Bronx tonight. Chase Utley will DH and bat sixth. What a finish of the U.S. Open. 21-year-old Jordan Spieth followed up a double bogey on 17 with a birdie on 18 for a one-shot lead, but thought he had no shot after Dustin Johnson left himself a 12-foot putt on 18 for Eagle to win it. He'd miss, but only had to make a four-footer to force a playoff. Four-footer, right? That's golf. And with that, Spieth became the youngest U.S. Open champ since Bobby Jones in 1923, only the sixth player to win the Open and the Masters in the same year. Finally, the Eagles are on summer break. They don't reconvene until training camp opens on August 2nd. Malcolm Jenkins may or may not be fashionably late, but he will be fashionable. Here's Jeff Skaversky. Comes back. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins is a standout on the field, but that doesn't change once he changes out of his Eagles uniform. Any chance he gets, the safety sports a bow tie. Just wearing a bow tie, no matter what it is, is going to automatically draw people's eye. What's your favorite bow tie? Does it depend on the day? It really depends on the day. Right, but so like today, on a, what's on the an everyday, bow tie? On an everyday basis, I'll probably use this one because, and this is a denim, but it literally goes with anything I put on. Jenkins doesn't just rock bow ties, he makes them. Nearly two years ago, he started a company out of his own house, Rock Avenue, named after the street he grew up on in Piscataway, New Jersey. It's the summer, springtime now, so I like to wear like a lot of the brighter florals. Jenkins came up with the idea because he could not find ones he liked in stores. And now he sells his very own line here at Armour, a store in Philly's Fabric Row. I'm a rookie in this industry, and I don't try to use my name to open up any doors. Jenkins actually handpicks the fabric for his bow tie line. Among the things he looks for, the quality of the fabric to make sure these things tie well. Of course, these can be extremely intimidating to tie. I can't do it. Malcolm, why don't you show us all how to tie a bow tie? Start with the right side a little longer than the left. Come up and through. Tighten to your comfort. You take this, make it a bow. It's starting to look like a bow tie, isn't it? Pinch it. This is the hard part. Put it through halfway and you're done. Hopefully the Eagle safety can also help tie up some loose ends on the defense this year. Jeff Skaversky, Channel 6 Action News. Well, let's face it, Jeff can't tie his regular tie. But anyway, can you tie a bow tie? Uh, I did a few years ago with a tuxedo. The clip did on. it once. No, no, no. Did oh. it once. Forgot after that. Maybe now you'll remember. Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. A Delaware soccer team deserves congratulations tonight.